Welcome to Craig's Magic Table. Want to see a cool trick? Duke University, 1967, in the parapsychology department, the CIA helped sponsor experiments looking for people with psychotic abilities. <laughs> and if they could find somebody that was a true psychic, they would use them for espionage purposes. We're going to recreate one of their most famous experiments done by Dr. James Patterson and test subject NH47. They didn't use people's real names, so they gave them test subject names. It's all a matter of public record. You can look this up. It was a very effective yet simple test done under test conditions. A standard deck of playing cards is used. You can use actually a borrowed shuffle deck for this. There's no jokers, and it doesn't matter how shuffled they are, as you'll see in a second. Then they took out an odd number of cards. They took out 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They turned those 17 cards face up, and I want you to see that all of these cards are face down. And then they shuffled the face up cards into the face down cards. And we'll give these a few shuffles to make sure they're really well mixed in there. So you can see that the cards are being well shuffled in. Give them another cut and a shuffle so you don't think I was looking for anything to set up there. They then had the test subject separate the two, the deck into two packets. They don't have to be equal packets, but it has to be two packets. Each packet must contain an equal number of face-up cards. Keep in mind, we're starting with an odd number of face-up cards. So to make that happen at some point, he had to flip some cards the other way. But the other tricky part of this, he can't see his hands or the deck. He can only do this by remote viewing. So they introduced a box, and I have the actual CAA box right here. They spared no expense. It's just a cardboard box. I want you to see there's nothing nefarious about it, nothing inside that could help. On the back of the box, it has been cut out so that I can slip my hands under there. And I'm going to place this over the deck of playing cards. So now you or I cannot see those cards. But I want you to know I'm not looking at my hands at all. So I'm going to tilt this up so you can see that I'm going to turn the other way. And now I have to go in here and separate these into two packets without looking at my hands. I have to flip some of them the other way. It's kind of difficult here. All right, I think I've done that. I'm going to take my hands out. I'm going to remove the box. And I have two packets of playing cards. If this experiment worked, there should be an equal number of face-up cards in each packet. So let's see how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 face-up cards in that packet. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven face-up cards in each packet. An amazing experiment because the test subject could never look at the cards or his hands. Started with an odd number of face-up cards. Had to flip some to make that work out without looking at anything. I have no idea how he did that. In fact, he's probably a really good spy right now, or at least a magician. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.